Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and I'm very excited today because we have a very special guest today. His name is Scott Olgren, and he owns a wonderful supplement company, and he has a lot of knowledge when it comes to um, healing the body and rejuvenating your body and making and working with longevity and helping yourselves. In our society, we, you know, we, you know, sometimes don't understand things as well as we should, and there are a lot of myths out there and misconceptions, and Scott's here to educate us and tell us a lot about different things and how we can improve our overall life, mind, body. And uh, he's here today and I'm so excited to have him on the show. Scott, tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks, Stacey. Uh, uh, one correction, I wish I owned the company, uh, but, I am the, <laughs> uh, but I also feel, you know, as a lot of people, I think that are on a mission, they feel that what their work is, is as if they owned the company. Yes. Uh, but I am the CEO of a company called E3 Live. We are the harvesters and the manufacturers of a rare uh, wild-grown nutraceutical microalgae that is found actually in only one mountain lake uh, in the world uh, here in Klamath Falls, Oregon. The microalgae is known by its acronym AFA, which is short for its scientific name, Aphanazomenon flossaco, which is quite a uh, a mouthful and why everyone just refers to it as uh, AFA or blue-green algae. Uh, I have been, like yourself, involved in natural foods for many years, over 40 years, and like most people, I got into it because of my own ill health or my own thoughts that, wait, this can't be the only way, you know, the pharmaceutical route, and, you know, I'm only in my late teens and 20s, and I'm already experiencing these things, and of course, back then, it was just a number of books that kind of got me thinking about the diet disease, diet health connection. Mm -hmm. And that's really what started it. And uh, interesting enough, that AFA uh, um, happened to be one of the first supplements I ever took. I've been actually eating it virtually daily since 1987, which I know ages me. Most people are probably are born around 1987. <laughs> I actually just turned 68. But, uh, you know, that's a testament to its efficacy. Uh, it's, I still think it's one, you know, one or the most potent cellular regenerators that I've ever found, which is why I continue to use it and why my career seems to constantly be uh, revolving around this particular micro algae. I, I, I'm, before we started recording, we were talking about cellular regeneration. And to me, that is the central, central key and oftentimes the missing key to people who are started to recognize that they have more of a control on the the controls, the knobs of their how their body is aging, how their health is, and how you can reverse long standing uh, health problems by mm -hmm. starting to change your nutritional intake. And that has really been the central theme of my life, my, my passions, and uh, also, fortunately, my careers for the last uh, 40 years. You know, I think you know, people don't realize because it, it recently it's been been promoted a lot about how beneficial it is. But for, you know, it's been here for for for, you know, hundreds of years, you know, but no one has really, you know, talked about it a lot, you know, and you used it in, in the 80s. But if you if you ask a lot of people, they won't know what it is, you know, and maybe no. you could share with people the benefits and, and the changes that, you know, you went through and maybe even share a little bit about your story and how how it, it dramatically affected your life and changed your life and made it, you know, really gave you a second chance at living a healthy and happy life. Yeah. In, in gen, I mean, well, first of all, the whole idea of, of learning how to eat uh, a diet that 
allows you to live to 100 years, allows you to survive with all your organs and faculties intact until you are in old age. That by itself is such a fascinating study. Yes. Uh, but I will actually use AFA as kind of the example, as maybe like the, the spark plug yeah. of it, because in fact, it is the original spark plug of life. Algaes right. were the first thing on our planet that figured out how to eat sunlight. Right. They were the first ones that grabbed it, figured out how to capture that light, and then the metabolites out of that algae suddenly were spitting out oxygen and other things that allowed an entire different uh, spectrum of life to, to take hold. So it has that ability. That's really one of the startling and wonderful things about this particular microalgae is that it is able to capture light so intensely and then uh, because of its growing medium it is has this huge huge nutrient density inside of this microalgae the other thing that makes it so powerful is its actual cellular structure it basically dissolves in your hand when you're out there during its growing season uh, in in late uh, summer and then beginning in the fall. That's when the algae is thriving. That's when it is uh, really alive. And when you go out there in the lake and you're picking it up, it's this extremely vibrant color. But if you look at it, it the cells, the minute you pull out of the lake, they start to almost dissolve instantly. And that wow. gives you, that gives uh, it, you a clue as to its bioavailability. In other words, how uh, how easily the body can absorb all these micronutrients. And from our experience, uh, the, the thing that seems to really kick off the cellular regeneration is the body's access, not to the macro ingredients, which are important, you know, proteins and carbohydrates, uh, things like that. Those, those are what most people pay attention to. But mm -hmm. To me, where you really experience the changes, the physical and mental and emotional sensation of cellular regeneration is when you start to add superfoods into your body because it, it's giving you those building blocks, those micro micronutrients, and AFA is filled with them, over 80 micronutrients, magnesium, selenium, you know, chromium, magnesium, zinc, iodine, all those things, along with the entire spectrum of amino acids. But in that very, very simple form, not, not you know, whole proteins that have to be broken down, but in those micronutrients that the body immediately absorbs and uses. So that's really the kind of the central key for why there's a couple other things too which we can get into which is all about the adult stem cells and yeah. that's a fascinating bunch of research that's being done now on afa yeah no i love i love the concept of adult stem cells because it's really with the with the proper you know stem cells you know you could re really rejuvenate parts of your body that you know that have been you know damaged or have not been functioning properly it just does wonders on the body it goes into the body and it starts to rejuvenate and it starts to fix areas of the body that um you know that that need the help it's just uh it's it's an amazing um you know, stem cells are amazing. And maybe you can go into it and, and, and you know, tell people about it because people are learning about it, but they don't really know a lot about it. You know, if you ask them the facts, they kind of, you know, they hear about it, they hear a little here, a little there, they know it's good, but maybe you could really educate people and, and explain to people how great it is. Yeah, the, the lay person's basic understanding of stem cells is that they are part of our immune system and adult stem cells have this why there's so much research being done on them is that they have this ability to turn into to morph into anything that the body needs so like muscle cells brain cells uh, uh, blood cells even organ tissue and the majority of the stem cells that the body uses uh, come from the uh, bone marrow that's yeah. uh, that's where they're released how the mechanisms behind why they're released and when they're released that's still uh, up for you know, uh, 
we're, we're not really sure why, but if yeah. we're damaged, if we're in an accident or something, the body releases them out of that. And so what recent research has found out is that if you eat a couple of grams of dried AFA or fresh AFA, uh, this, uh, this microalgae, within a half an hour, you see this migration of an increase in adult stem cells throughout the bloodstream. So that, it's, that seems to be one of the main uh, mechanisms or reasons behind all of these tens of thousands of phenomenal healing stories that we have seen over the decades of people yeah. reporting to us, hey, this is what's happening to me when I eat AFA. And we used to point to it as well, it's an, you know, because it's so concentrated in all these nutrients, it's very, very high in chlorophyll, which is, has a very powerful cleansing effect on the body. You know, it's almost like green blood. Right. Right? It's, like the, it's like the blood of green plants. Uh, and But now with that stem cell research, we have more of a sense of like, that's why we're getting those kinds of results. That's amazing. Now, what are some of the common benefits that you hear from a lot of people as they as they start to use AFA? Uh, I think the main ones is is uh, um, a sense of of being of getting younger. You, you people will comment uh, that, yeah, hey, your eyes look whiter. You know, you've got clearer eyes, or your yeah. skin is looking better, or you have more energy, or less joint pains. Those are really the main ones. Uh, some people's pe uh, digestion improves, um, you know, sleep better, all those kind of classic signs of cellular regeneration. And also one of the most common things about cellular regeneration is when you, when you are doing things that increase your body's ability to cellular regenerate, that one of the phases before the cellular regeneration, well, it's actually part of cellular regeneration, is yeah. that your body will get rid of or replace subpar tissue, subpar cells, anything in the body that is not operating at its highest function. That's the yeah. whole. That's the whole key. So during that time, you can also oftentimes go through a detoxification. The cells have to go somewhere. Yeah, they don't just all burn up and go out through breath or carbon dioxide They're They are actually having to be removed from the body. So sometimes you'll go through a period of days, weeks or something where you actually feel sluggish. It's because the body is detoxifying from whatever kind of lifestyle choices or food choices, whatever is going on in the body. And it will go through that period. So all of the avenues of detoxification will will be used whether it's a really stuffy nose or you feel gunk coming out of your ears or you know your eyes in the morning have that you know where you yeah. feel like what's coming out of my eyes your breath can smell off um your digestion bowel movements your pee can be a different color all those things those are classic de uh, detoxification symptoms that anyone anyone who has ever been on any kind of a improvement of diet will generally see and the the main trick to that is actually quite simple you yeah. double the amount of water that you're normally drinking mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. interesting with people when i say double that you, you most people will just go okay i'll drink more water no it, you can't you you actually have to have a measured you know like where's mine you know and I think that's why you see people who are interested yeah. in health, they're carrying their water with them. It's not so much that they don't have access to water where they go. It's it's almost as a measuring device so that yeah. at the at five o'clock at the end of the day, it's really easy yeah. for humans to suddenly look and go, I fill this up in the morning. I've barely touched it. Yeah. So it's really easy. So it takes a while for you to sort of go, go I, I've got to remember to be flushing my cells every hour. I have to be peeing, especially during the during a detoxification period or where you yeah. really focus on it. You really want to be urinating about every 90 minutes. Right. You know that, ah, I'm moving this river through me. And as detoxification is happening, as my body is replacing these yeah. cells with higher functioning cells, this is all going to flow through me instead of clogging me up, instead of right. making me sluggish. 
you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. Now, when when you take AFA, is there is it, does it come in different forms or is it in powder form? Like, how do people usually consume it? What is the common ways of consuming AFA? Yeah, we we as harvesters, one of the brilliant things that the founders figured out was how to capture it and freeze it. So that was rid the original kind of uh. Um, magic that E3 Live grasped back three decades ago was they yeah. were the, really the first ones, the only ones actually in the world that have figured out how to capture it and freeze it and then be able to ship it all over. We ship to everywhere. We ship to Japan. Japan, of course, has, has long been advocates and they understand the power of algae in the world yeah. they 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 harvest algae from their coastlines you know that that's the saltwater algae this of course is a right. freshwater algae but they buy tens of thousands of dollars every month of our product so we it comes in a fresh frozen type and people we now have it wired so that we can ship fresh frozen anywhere in the in the u.s at, for a fair uh, for a pretty good price we worked it out with uh, fedex like yeah we're we really got a good process for being able to get that fresh frozen still frozen within two or three days so it comes in fresh frozen and then we also know that how to capture it and be able to dry it in a way that keeps its potency and keeps its aliveness so we also offer it in classic capsules as well as in just powdered form you can get it in 50 gram so people can scoop it out and put it into smoothies or whatever it is that you've got a lot of juice bars around the country use our afa and are scooping it in or they take it out and pour a little bit of the fresh frozen into into people's smoothies and do you find that it's most effective if you use it on a daily basis oh without a doubt yeah it's these are micronutrients so you want them you want them saturating your body pretty much every day yeah i've never found it beneficial to you know skip days or take time off you know yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like vitamin c you know you want it every, you want it every day right you can live without it you know it's it's okay but you i always feel better if i'm taking it on a regular basis and I tell that to people all the time, like a lot of people I'll talk to, they will start using really good, um, potent, you know, different supplements to improve their overall health. And then, so I'm like, do you take it daily? They're like, oh, I take it every once in a while. I'm like, well, you can't take it every once in a while. When you, when you take something like AFA or you take some, you know, you take certain types of, of supplementation or vitamins, you have to consistently take it and, and build it up in your system, I believe. And that way your body really can absorb it and start to, you know, have a healing process or start to improve your overall health and longevity. And you start seeing, you know, adequate changes in your life for the better. You know, do you feel the same way? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. It's, it's like, uh, it's like anything. You just put it into your routine. Right. And, and then it becomes like brushing your teeth in the morning. You know, you just do it. Yeah. I feel like the same way, like, you know, when you start doing something and you make it a, a part of your daily, you know, living uh, in your daily lifestyle, it, you don't even realize anymore. It just becomes a habit. It just becomes part, you know, something that you might do, whether you do it in the morning or the afternoon or whenever you do it. Now, when you do F AFA, is it better to start and, and do it in the morning and, and have it, you know, working through your system or does it, it doesn't really matter what time you, you, you take it? I, I never found it, uh, you know that it mattered too much i just take it in the morning only because i like that like the idea of having an empty stomach yeah uh, i do you know it's one of the first things i do in the morning uh, but that said you know everybody is different right uh, that's you know one of the keys to everybody is different so dose levels will be different for everybody uh you know everybody has different sensitivities yes. i'm six eight i'm 230 pounds so you know what works for me is may not work for you know other people but you know that's the cool thing and that is one of the things i think that uh, is one of the um most important things about the natural health movement is is recognizing you are your own walking petri dish we yeah. are all our own experiment you and we talked about this before we started this, Stacy. this call is that, you know, you, you've got to read, you've got to study, you've got to ask people, and then you have to experiment on your own body. You've got to right. see what works for yourself. 
Right. And I, I think people have to realize that, you know, what works for one person may not work for the other person. And, and what, what a person feels on a certain dosage, another person might not feel, you know. Yeah. Uh, and when yeah. also when you if you have certain conditions or you take certain medications, when you're on AFL, A, are, is there anything that you should be cautious of most likely or discuss with your doctor or you haven't really heard anything like that? No. Uh, I, and in some cases with some supplements and some herbs, yeah, there, there are counterindications that you, you have to kind of pay attention to if you are on certain medications. But I've never heard anything for AFA. And that speaks, though, again, to its cellular structure and what it contains. These are right. just very the basic building blocks of life in a form that the body absorbs instantly. Yeah. So it seems to work for everyone. I've never met anyone that said, yeah, you shouldn't take a you should take AFA. Right. It's like saying, you know, to me, it's like saying, yeah, you shouldn't take vitamin D. You shouldn't take vitamin C. <laughs> it's a, it, it is, it's the building blocks of right. life. And, and blue green algae, it, freshwater blue green algae is, is that spark of life. It, it, it was the, you know, it is earth's first food. And it, it seems like it would increase your energy level as well. And, you know, I, I know people that have taken it and they said their skin, their complexion or their skin became, you know, they felt younger because their skin yeah. changed. You know, some people felt like, a you know, more energetic on it and they felt very vibrant on it. You know, um, I've heard only good things so far on AFA. Yeah. But uh, it, it's pretty amazing. I, you know, I think it's so important that people like look into these things and, you know, because, you know, even in the, in, in the uh, blue zone, you know, you, you, people are starting to, you know, realize that certain ways of life can really change the level of longevity and it can change your health and the way you feel, you know, in the blue zone areas, people live a, a very long life, a, a majority of them. And it's because of the way they take care of their bodies, it's the, it's the food they're putting in their bodies, the way they live mm. life, you know, and then these are all important factors people have to take in consideration. And because I think people take their, their, their life and their health sometimes for granted. They don't realize that if, you know, how we take care of our bodies has such an impact on our future. Yeah. You know, we were talking about water earlier, and I, remember, I, I wanted to mention that, that one of the most fascinating things about uh, Klamath Lake is the water that the algae grows in. I mean, the water is the dirt. It's the, because it's an aqua plant, aqua yeah. botanical, it's, it's the kin to, you know, some farmers, you know, dirt and earth and, and th obviously the quality of that growing medium yeah. is the key to its health. And one of the cool things that I do anytime I have friends who come visit me here up in the mountains of uh, Oregon is we always take them to what are called the rivers of light. The, they're, they're the source of these streams and yeah. rivers that flow down and form the lake and in fact if you look at a uh if you look at a map and most people know where crater lake is crater lake is you know famous very deep it one it's considered one of the cleanest sources of water in the world yeah. well that's up just north of Klamath Lake. And so that water filters down through the different layers of rock, thousands of feet. And then miles later, going south, it bubbles back up into these rivers. And when you go visit these, the they're at the, the headwaters of these yeah. rivers, meaning, meaning you're walking through the woods, there's no water, there's no river. And then suddenly you're hearing water coming out. And then sure enough, just out of the side of the mountain, pours these crystal clear springs and that you can see clear down into it and when you when you first get there you think oh this is just three or four feet deep and then you walk out in there it's freezing it's absolutely freezing <laughs> water it's like eight feet 12 feet deep but you're seeing all these hundreds of, of springs boiling up you can wow. just drink the water right from it. that is the source of the water that comes through klamath Klamath Lake. So it's it's one of those extraordinary places. That I, I consider it a real magical spot in the world. You've got Crater Lake there, and then Mount Shasta to the south, and Klamath, this gem, this Klamath al algae that grows in Klamath Lake right in between. I find it, you know, one of those magical places on the planet.
Yeah, you know, it, and it's amazing because I, I had someone on the show and they talked about how they changed their water and the water they drank and how they had all these medical problems. And once they 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 went out of their way to get a certain type of water, they their medical problems and their health improved dramatically. And yeah. It was, and he no longer had the problems that he was battling with for so many years, all from, you know, he saw the major changes when he went and he made sure he got certain types of waters and from the kind of the springs that you're talking about. And and he was no longer buying bottled water or water in the grocery store. And, and, yeah. and it played such a traumatic role in, in the improvement of his health. People don't realize that the quality of water takes a huge impact on your health as well. Yeah, hydration. I mean, it's just, it's the, it's, it's the way you flush the cells. So it's critical that people, and I tell people if they want to have a really cool experiment that costs them no money, mm -hmm. just to do a rehydration program for 14 days or right. 20 days, all they want to do is get a source of clean water. They, they can filter their water, whatever it is, but yeah. then they carry around two or three liters, depending on their body weight. You can't overdo it. Yes. You, and you drink that water, you flush. And it, it takes a while because people feel, I don't feel like drinking this much water. Well, <laughs> after a week, your body will start to actually desire it. And man, the difference in the way a body feels when it is properly cleansed, when it's properly been flushed with yes. enough clean, clear H2O. And I believe he also had a filterization, a special type of filterization um, uh, um, um, uh, tool in it, in his home where he, mm. he even put the water through that before he drank it. And, it, and, it, and between having the pure water and the filterization, he, his whole health changed. It, it shows you how the water you drink and the algae, like the AFA, like these things have such impacts on our body. People don't realize that they, it goes into our body and, and it creates a healing process. It creates, it creates rejuvenation and, and it, it changes the, our, whole, our whole body, you know, and, and can improve our overall health and, and our, our lifeline as well. Mm. Now tell me some about some of the products that you sell on your website. I want to hear because I've I've gone on them and they're very interesting. You have the AFA, but you also have a yeah. product that helps with brain with the brain also. Correct. A number of years ago, they found out that if you concentrate the if you if you concentrate the AFA through a couple of uh, proprietary processes that we figured out, you get this extract of the AFA. It's kind of like a concentrated version of AFA. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it increases the, the percentage of some of the key uh, compounds that are found in AFA. One of them is something called PEA. That's the acronym. PEA, it stands for phenylethylamine. Phenylethylamine is one of the fascinating little chemicals that the body actually produces but uh, you can also find it in certain plants and AFA has a ton of it. And uh, PEA is also known as the, uh, the love compound or the love chemical, because mm -hmm. when, you, when you consume it, you ha most people have a sense, an increased sense of joy or an increased sense of, of, of empathy for others. So yeah. that's one of the, of the pieces to it. The other one is phycocyanin. Phycocyanin is the blue color of plants. Yeah. And phycocyanin is a, is, has been found to be a very effective, um, it, um, the word skipping my brain, the, uh, it, it, uh, anti-inflammatory. Mm -hmm. So people with, people with body pains, aches, and so forth, find it very beneficial. And then it increases all of the, the compounds that are found in there but the yeah. main effect of that seems to be an increase in cognition so we call that product brain on which is like a, again the concentrated form so the only thing that's in there is afa but it is that concentrated extract nice. of afa uh and then we also uh sell a form of uh, spirulina which is another type of blue green algae 
we've got that that's called blue magic many people are familiar with blue magic around the around the country you'll see famous people like the kardashians we we got very good uh, press when the kardashians on one of their shows showed them adding our blue magic to their mm -hmm. smoothie and that became this big big huge <laughs> uh, wave of interest in yeah. the blue pigment of found in spirulina so you'll find that uh, on our website as well we also have you know digestive enzymes and probiotics that again we mix with afa uh, but those are basically it we we focus a lot on the gem that we have a hold of and that we are feel responsible for uh, you know being the uh, the farmers and protectors of the lake and of the yeah. of afa now, where can people find your your supplements and your vitamins? E3Live.com is the best way to, to go there. I actually was, before I got on, I was going to come up with a coupon, you know, or, a, you know, a code or something for, for your listeners to get a, a discount. So, you know, I can email that to you afterwards. Yes. And if you mm -hmm. can, you know. I'll put it in uh, the description can, box for people. Perfect. That would be great. Uh, and I'll do that as soon as we get off. I was trying to scrambling before we got on to get that. And I'll make sure. That would be great. I think I think the consumers will love that. And yeah. I'm, I'm actually very excited to try it myself. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. I hope you try our fresh frozen. Our fresh frozen is just knocks the socks off people. And it's, it, it's so is it more Is it more potent because it's, it's fresh fro frozen? It, you know, I wouldn't call it more potent. I would, I, what I would say is everyone has to try out the dip to two differences. You know, gotcha. I actually, most mornings I'm just eating the capsules. Again, I'm a big guy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. Fit, I'm fit, but I, I'm a big guy. So yeah. I, I like the capsules because I'm, you know, I'm running a company. I'm just, and then, you know, water. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, but my wife loves uh, the fresh frozen. It's, it's, uh, it, it speaks to her better. So I would just yeah. have people try both. Right, right. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now, you also authored a few books also. Can I did. Can you talk about them? Yeah, my my whole route into all this was kind of probably similar, you know, as you, we talked about, is similar to yours. And I got so turned on to the transformations that were happening in my body when I was introduced to uh, a dietary program back in this is back in the eighties. I actually, uh, I had, I had, uh, when I was really young, I uh, dropped out of college and moved out to the mountains of Colorado and I uh, helped a friend build a house. I suddenly got hired to be this carpenter. I'd never, you know, pounded a nail in my life. Anyways, mm. I, from that, I bought an old house, sold it before flipping houses was even a thing. And in 1979, I sold that house. And uh, with that money, I traveled around the world for three years, mainly hitchhiking through Africa. Uh, wow. I worked on a kibbutz in Israel. I was I sailed for 92 days out in the Indian Ocean. I traveled across uh, Australia. And this was all during 79 through 82. Yeah. Uh, I was that was just when the natural health movement was really starting to take hold. And I met these people that were doing all this and the transformations they told me and then the transformations I went through by changing from a standard American diet to a more, uh, you know, uh, clean plant based, you know, food diet was yeah. transformative to me. So when I got back to the States, I actually uh, enrolled in a uh, 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 a school, a nutritional school called the Cushy Institute in mm -hmm. Boston. And from that nine month program, and then the the work that I did afterwards with showing people all that I, I wrote a, a couple of books, the 28 day cleansing program, uh, nutritional cleansing made easy. And it was all about this idea of cellular regeneration by removing the foods that were difficult for the body to digest they were they had they have a tendency to clog up the body slow the body down yeah. and transform over into a more doesn't have to be a vegetarian diet doesn't have to be a vegan diet but yeah. you are learning to eat find the foods that have extraordinary nutrient clarity and a yeah. lot of uh a lot of people aren't comfortable with kind of the energetics of food, but man, whatever kind of scientific label you want to put on it, that's what you're looking for. You're yeah. looking for plants. You're looking for foods 
that have a potent amount yeah. of light energy in them. Right. And by consuming those foods, you will go through a transformation in that first 30, 60 days. And I wanted to show people that there's a way to do that that was not hard. Uh, you didn't have to starve. You could eat as much food as you want as yeah. long as you just stayed on this food and watch the transformation and not get fooled by the detoxification period. A lot of times, especially back then, before detoxification was really understood. Now, you know, science talks about it. They have yeah. different words than detoxification, but they understand the whole idea of cellular die-off. Yeah. Herxheimer reaction. I love that phrase. First time I heard Herxheimer reaction, I just laughing hysterically. I thought, see, they, the scientists need to have their own language yeah. for what we knew was going on cellular because we were experiencing it. Why yeah. do I suddenly have acne at 32 years old? Uh, because I'm just eating a lighter diet. That's Herxheimer reaction. That's cellular cleansing. So those books really talked about it to make people more comfortable and realizing you didn't have to suffer through it you just had to understand what was going on so right. that was my passion for many many years and it got me to where i am here because this is really what i do yeah i i love it and i i'm 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 very big on detoxification I, you know i, I we as we were talking about earlier in the show when when i was going through my own health issues the first thing i did was i i had a de i detoxified my body and it was when i after the detoxification took effect. That was when may, I saw major changes, even with my epilepsy, my seizures started to decrease, but it was after the detoxification process that I went through that I saw such huge changes in my health, just getting all those toxins out of our body. Because I think people don't realize all those toxins, if our body doesn't know what it is, it stores it and it just builds up in our body and it leaches onto our organs. And that's when people start getting illnesses and they start slowing down and not feeling well and all these different things things start happening. So if we could flush all these toxins out of our body and we could eat a healthy, you know, diet and have superfoods in our diet and, and, and do things like incorporate AFL and A into our diet and, and really, you know, stay on a healthy path, you know, you know, our whole, our whole lives could, could actually really improve tremendously. Many people, you know, extraordinary, extraordinary. It's like being reborn. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I think, I think so many people, you know, they, you know, they listen to what doctors say. And sometimes doctors are a little too friendly with medications, you know, and they pass it out. And what happens was is I hear so many stories from people. Well, the doctor gave me this prescription and I thought it was going to make me better. And then all of a sudden, not too long after I started getting other symptoms. So they went back to the doctor and the doctor gave them another prescription plus that prescription. And then I got more, more symptoms, but they never correlated that. Maybe it's the medications giving them all these symptoms. And before they knew yeah. it, they had a whole, you know, um, bathroom full of different medications that they were on and they were interacting with them and yeah. they, it just ch changed their life. And, and they, be, they just walked around like, like with, with no life in them. You could just see it would, they would just suck like a, like a drainage and, you know, yeah. that's not a way to live life, you know? No, no, it's the, it's the hardest thing to get out from under is that idea that, our medical profession has all the answers and they don't they yeah. they're very very good at prescribing medications but they they don't haven't taken the time to re uh, most of them but not as great is that there's many many mds now recognizing because of yeah. their own personal experience or because they've had so many of their customers, clients coming in saying, I got transformed by doing these things. And yeah. they, they're finally paying attention. So I'm very, very encouraged by the direction that we're going. Yeah, I've seen many doctors in the medical fields now starting to change their outlook on natural health and, and starting yeah. to see, you know, that there is another way and that that it's not about, you know, writing a prescription that there are other healthy ways and, and realizing that some of these medications are actually doing more bad things than good things for people and mm -hmm. really looking at different ways that they could go about helping individuals. And I'm very excited to try AFA. It, it's, huh. uh, I really am. After talking yeah. to you, I'm very excited because I've heard so many great things about your product. So I, I'm oh. very excited. 
And, uh, you know, if you had to really take everything that we talked about today and you wanted to give people a couple of different takeaways to emphasize the listeners, what are some of the things that you really think are important the listeners should, should remember? The, the diet disease, diet health connection is the most misunderstood and most powerful way to transform your life. And it not only transforms uh, your skin and your eyes, you know, and how you feel, it transforms your thinking. Yeah. Right? You know, the, when your mind is clear, you make different decisions. Yeah. Uh, when your mind is clear, you have different emotional reactions to things. You are less susceptible to cult-like thinking, uh, yeah. uh, you know, group think, uh, overreact to overreactivity. Mm -hmm. You are more thoughtful. You are are less uh, reactive. Yeah. And to me those are the most important things that the world needs right now. And one of the ways to access that is through this whole concept of cellular regeneration. The cool thing about it is that you don't, you, you, there's not only, there's not one way to, to that path that just the general way is to start saying, what if mm -hmm. I started to make, cleaner dietary choices start anywhere along that way learn how to prepare your own foods i am amazed the number of people say i don't cook if i i i always love showing people when i when they come and visit me i say let me cook you dinner and one of the things that always amazes especially these people who don't cook for themselves who eat mainly takeout food or mainly fast foods is how extraordinarily fast it is to make a gallon of soup, yeah. how extraordinarily fast it is to make enough food in inside of a half an hour that lasts me 24 hours, 36 hours. Yes. Uh, and, and that it's all made from base ingredients that the earth makes yeah you do not have to be a vegan you do not have to be a vegetarian right you do have to eat mainly plant life yeah it's what we are designed for right and to start to explore the mm -hmm. world of superfoods afa is to me the ground spark of the entire yeah earth but there are others as well you know we're, we're not the only company that has really cool superfoods yeah. but start you know with what i just laid out and pick a few really good superfoods to start adding to your nutrition and i mean when if people do this i want them to write you and then you can email and say look what they yeah. just did 60 days in 60 days people can just be like i can't believe the changes. I had no idea that that long term symptom that I thought I was going to live with the rest of my life yeah. that I have lived with for 40 years is now gone or it's releasing or it's 80% better. Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, it, and it's only 60 days. So a lot of times people will take supplements and it'll take them, you know, th it'll, t it'll take them three months to notice a change, you know, where you probably it seems like you'll start noticing the change a lot quicker if you're doing it consistently, you're putting the proper diet, and you're doing everything the way you're supposed to, you're going to see change quicker than you expected as long as you're doing everything the way you're supposed to be doing it. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what it, it is it's very simple to cook you could even you know i got this cookbook it, it was uh it was like uh over 100 dishes in a crock pot that you could make oh it's the best you know, i tell everybody like, get a crock pot yeah, yeah. If, if you don't want if you don't like cooking and, and you're oh. just, or you just you know you've raised your kids and you're just tired of cooking get a crock pot put, start you know throw everything in the crock pot in the morning and by dinner Love time it. you're all ready <laughs> yeah that's it that's really good Oh, that's so it. And then I tell everyone too, get a damn good knife. I mean, I yeah. can't believe when I go into people's kitchens, I look and go, how do you cut with this? Come uh -huh. on, get a good, get a good vegetable cutting knife because it makes it exactly. so much more fun. 
Oh yeah, for sure. For a hundred percent, a hundred percent. You have the right tools and you have the proper things and yeah. it's amazing. I had a friend of mine who they just came out with a, it was, it was like a, like a, like not like a, a stove, but it was like a mini thing where you could actually put any type of food in. If you were, if you were tired, coming home from work, long day, maybe taking care of the kids all day, you could put fresh food in there. And there was pictures of all different types of foods, and you you just put in the 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 picture of the food and and how much it, like how much it weighed, and it cooked it exactly the way you wanted. All you had to do is put a couple of spices and whatnot, and it, within a few minutes it was it was ready because it was cooking it quicker than it you know normally would for you know if you were cooking yeah. it in an oven. But it was like he said it was the easiest thing. He could come home, he could just you know if he had a chicken, he put a chicken. If he had vegetables, That's it. He put a picture of vegetables, and and within within. Under 10 to 15 minutes, the it was done. All I had to do was put some spices on it, you know, a little little pepper or something, and and he would he would he had himself a meal. Mm. So, you know, nowadays, it's 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 easy to cook, you know, naturally if you want. You know, it's like there's so many different things that we could do, you know. To but uh, you know, just or you know, I have friends that prepare. Like they'll do it a couple. They'll prepare clean food and they'll they'll make enough for a couple of days, and then I'll have some oh, that the will. Key. Put, yeah, and it's the key. Leftovers rock. Leftovers <laughs> absolutely rock. You know, I have my dad goes to the grocery store every day, and he'll he'll make he'll make a couple of days worth. You know, of, that's of, it. And he's he's good to go. He's in his eighties, and he still loves to cook. Oh, and, no kidding! Yeah. No kidding! Well yeah. done. And oh, he, Stacy, you got the longevity gene. Then that's great. Yeah, that's he, awesome. 80 well done he's greek and then my my aunt oh god I, tell me no more I mean, <laughs> greeks know how to eat that is awesome i had no idea that's great oh it's really true every greek i've ever met they know how to eat they really do they know how to they have a they have an innate sense of balance yeah in their in their diet that's awesome oh my, you got you got you're ahead of us. <laughs> my my great aunt, she just had recently passed away last year. She was 103. She used to go in the backyard and pick dandelion and make and then just dry them out, make dandelion tea. Everything came from her backyard. She picked the olives out and oh. and 103 years old she lived too. She, she oh, I wish I could have met her. <laughs> I wish I could have met her. Really, that gives me chills to to know. Yeah, and and to know that there's still people out there that get that. It's it's uh that's great. You've got a extraordinary <laughs> gna you know you, your genetics are there <laughs> stacy you're do, you're right where you should be stacy teaching people about this really i'm very very happy you're doing this oh thank you so much you know this has been amazing just you know i i you know i hope you'll come back on the show and we could talk more about this because i feel like this is something that pe people really need to learn more about because you know what i e even though it's been here for thousands of years you know people you know are learning about it now it's coming out it's becoming a little bit more popular because like you said the kardashians were doing it people are getting <laughs> it words are coming out you know, we just have to like make it known and we have to just educate people on AFA and, yeah. and all these different, you know, certain types of, of ways of just changing little tweaks in our diet. Little little things could just have such a huge impact on our health. And that's cool. what I try to get across to people that, you know, when people think about something, they get overwhelmed. It's not as hard as you think. Little baby tweaks and you don't have that's to do it. it in at once. You little each day you make a little tweak, a little tweak, little tweak. And before you know it you start feeling, you know, you start noticing the changes and you start feeling good. And it's great when you're in our age group and you feel a lot younger and you could still do a lot of things. And, you know, because there are people that are our age that, you know, are very slow, sluggish, not enjoying life. And then I have a, a 90 year old grandmother who, you know, can dance around the house and is chasing a puppy right now. So, so you know, it's all how you take care about yourself, you know, and, and it's not hard, just baby tweaks, baby. That's tweaks. it. I'd love to come back. I'd love to have you back. Well, thank you so much, Scott. This has been amazing. I enjoyed every moment and I can't wait to try your AFA. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Thanks, Stacy. You have a great day. You too.